Okay, so let's do a bit of background here. I've been best friends with my buddy Robert since we were six. We are both currently 26 and are like family. Of course, we all knew each other's brothers and sisters well. But Robert had an older sister, Rebecca. She was about four years older than us. She was always a bit... weird. She was extremely childish for her age. About five years ago, she suddenly reached out to me and wanted to hang out. Now, I don't have many fellow female friends, and out of respect for Robert, I decided it wouldn't be a bad thing to try and befriend her. We started to hang out, and all she would talk about was guys. Literally, every guy we would walk past, she would think they were hot. Even 12 year old boys. Her obsession with guys got very annoying. What would send me over the edge is when she would get this guy's number and text him constantly. And if he didn't reply within five minutes, she would bug me, asking why he wasn't texting her back. And then, within two days of texting the new guy, I'd hear her telling him she loved him. Her behaviour was just getting more creepy to me. If she wasn't going on and on about guys, she would just be constantly wanting to hang out with me and throwing the whole oh my god, BFF, thing around. Which would be cool if we were little girls, but we were adults, and her childishness was getting on my last nerve. She would constantly make me wear matching BFF jewellery too. I forgot to mention that Rebecca could also knock people out. She was known for beating girls up who annoyed her, so, even though I was fed up of her ways, I was scared to tell her I didn't want to hang out with her anymore, since I felt she might beat me up. Eventually, I couldn't take it. I just slowly disappeared. I stopped answering her texts or calls. She started bugging Robert and asking him why I was ignoring her. He knew why which he completely understood, he can't stand her either. And he tried to tell her, hey, she just needs to focus on herself and she feels some people are dragging her down. Which was true. I felt Rebecca contributed nothing to me as a friend. Rebecca couldn't be mature and let it go. She constantly called me, and I mean every five minutes for about two hours, before she would give up and try to call me from a different number. She went to my work to try and find me even. Slowly, she kind of got the hint, until she decided to one night grab a mutual friend of ours phone and text me. I took a screenshot of it to show Robert how crazy his sister was being. It was a bit cut off, but my friend sent a picture of her, and it said, she misses you, and it was her that sent it. I am forced to go to extreme lengths to avoid her, because I know if she were to see me again, she would get all crazy and keep begging me to be her BFF again. She and Robert still live together, so the rare times I visit his place, I either sneak through the back door so she can't see me, or I'll wait for Robert to distract her so I can run off into his room. It's been like two years since then, and she still bugs Robert about me. So, Rebecca, let's not meet ever again. Hello everyone, Sinister Shaf here. This story was BFFs Forever by Nyancat89. Thank you for letting me narrate your story. 
if you enjoyed the video, then please like and subscribe if you have not done so already. Also, if you can, share my video with your friends. Thank you for watching and, as always, stay sinister.